emotional damage caused by the negative mental health state. Looking to help you answer the question, why does it matter, is OCPD coach Shannon Williams. Shannon Williams, why does it matter? Thank you, Josh. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you why it matters. Okay. I need everybody's help here. Progress. Cool. I need everybody's help here. My friend Spider Bear is trying to build his confidence. And he can't hear me right now. But he wants to show you all the backflip that he's been practicing for three years. Are you all ready? Yes. Okay, once he does it, I need you all to just cheer loudly, make him feel really good, okay? okay. All right. Go ahead. <sighs> See, they love it, man. You did a great job. But do you all really think Spider Bear did a great job? Yes. yes. I don't. <laughs> do you all think Spider Bear could make it to the Olympics? Um, no. No. With practice. With practice? Even with practice, I don't think you could. <laughs> do you think Spider Bear could be as good as Simone Biles? Yeah. With practice. With practice. Oh, man, so optimistic. You'll never be as good as Simone Biles. Mm. What if I told you that this little stuffed animal friend of mine's spider bear represented me? What if I also told you that that bully was also representing me? It's an interesting dynamic if you were, were to ask me. I wanted to talk a little bit today about mental health, my experience with mental health, as well as why mental health matters, and you should get it checked out. I'm gonna give you three primary reasons why it should matter to you. I'm gonna start here. My first point is that, as you saw here with Spider Bear, no matter how hard he tried, he tried that for three years trying to get the perfect backflip, and the first thing I did was tear it down. Even when everybody else said, hey, it's good. You can, you can do better, but it's good. I tore it down, treated him like crap. What if he never in his life again tries to do a backflip just because of me? You have a lot of stories like that. Michael Jordan actually didn't make it on his high school basketball team originally. He wasn't good enough. And what if he would have quit because his brain said, you'll never be good enough to make it to the NBA. We never would have had the greatest of all time, arguably. No time for that right now. So you might be punishing yourself. And I know I have done that my entire life. No matter how good, of, how, what positive feedback I might have received, I've never believed it. I always thought people were blowing smoke. I never thought I was worthy of any of it. And it wasn't until last year when I finally said, hey, it's time for me to figure out what's going on with me, that I was able to make the steps to start appreciating not only the work I put out into the world, but also all of the positive feedback that I do get in my life. So that's the first thing. You can be punishing yourself for no reason. Second point I have here is you'll get to know yourself better. What if I told you that you could access the superpowers that you have hidden inside of you that you have just kept restricted your entire life? Wouldn't you all, show of hands, wouldn't you all want to know how to do that? I, I'm asking again, wouldn't you all want to know how to do that? Thank you. So if you could all access those superpowers, why not do it? Why not go and get the therapy if you need it? Do more research on yourself. Become an expert of your brain. And let's take a little walk. Become an expert of your brain. We go to school for, what, 12 years at least of our lives. We become experts in math, experts in science, experts in English. Hey, a lot of us are experts in art. But how much time have you truly put into your brain to truly understand who you are, how your brain operates, what makes you tick, how to be productive, how to feel good. Those are the things that I think you should put more time into. Now I'm gonna go into my third point, which is this bear is a bear of my sons. And I always talk about my son. Y'all know how much I love my family. I realized very quickly that a lot of the mental health struggles that I dealt with, I was taking it out on him and my wife, who's actually here. They became the victims of my trauma. 
How many of you think that's fair? Show of hands. You think that's fair? No, I think it's valid. Valid, okay. Yeah. I don't think it's fair that I took it out on them. But I also needed to share the fact that my mental health struggles are generational. My mom had mental health struggles. My dad had mental health struggles. My mom's parents had mental health struggles, and everybody in that lineage of the, the siblings, they all have it. I'm the first one that ever chose to go get it investigated and get it figured out. But if I were to tell you that sometimes I get calls from my family, every, every week I get a new call from a different family member telling me about how my family is being torn up from the inside and all of this stems from unchecked mental health. I didn't even, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm being strong up here, but it pisses you off more than anything. And the reason it pisses me off is because it's the stigma that has made it where we do not get it checked out. We have been told that mental health is something that you shouldn't take serious. Hey, growing up, this thing is in my way. I'm still making my point. This is the thing. We've been told mental health is not something to be taken serious. And I'm talking about in my community. We have been told, hey, just give it to God. I mean, I grew up Christian. Just give it to God. It's not serious. There's nothing wrong with you. That's what you always hear. There's nothing wrong with you. But when mental health gets to the point where it's generational and you're tearing up families and you're having married couples battling each other and the siblings at, at, at each other's throat like there's true hate, I think there's a serious problem that we need to address. And that's when I get into the point of why does it matter? I gave you three points as to why it matters. Now I'm going to tell you about what does not matter. The opinions of others. And I'm going to let that sit for a second. We spend so much time trying to make everybody feel good, trying to be this perfect person, trying to say, hey, I fit in with you. And we don't take care of ourselves. And instead, we tear everybody up around us. Stop caring about the opinions of others when it comes down to your mental health. It is not worth anything. Instead, worry about those things that I told you matter and make the difference. Now, Spider Bear, I feel a lot better, and I'm going to tell you the truth. The backflip was not perfect, but it was good enough. High five. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.